Hello YouTube, this is Preston Stroud again. I'm here to show you my latest Ames Industrial Strength Inverter. This is a uh, 220 split phase inverter with 6,000 watts. It puts out 3,000 watts on each of the two hotlines, making up to 220. So, I've been running tests on it for the past several weeks. I am very, very impressed with it. You can run it off of a battery priority. It will use battery power. And when the battery gets low, it could automatically switch over to AC if you have AC going into it. Or you could run off of AC power. And then if the lights go out, it automatically switches to, to battery. So today we're running a test on this to power up the house. So let me give you an overview of this. We can see over here the back. We have battery cables running into it. We have also a uh, fuse right here coming from the battery line just for protection. We back up down here. We can see the pack of uh, 24 golf cart batteries right here. They're all 6 volt golf cart batteries hooked up to 24 volts. So I rewired the battery bank and put new wires on it and configured it for 24 volts. I'm seeing much, much more improvement in the uh, inverter output at 24 volts versus what I saw with the old inverter at 12 volts. So, now, we had this inverter wired up, as you can see here. We had this wired up with two sub-panels. So what I'm going to show you here is the main panel coming in off the, uh, the main power line. Okay? I'm running the AC line from here into the inverter that I can use as needed as backup. And I want you to see right here now, right here the inverter fuse is turned off. I've turned off the inverter fuse so we're forcing it to run completely off of batteries today for this test. No AC power is involved, it's strictly battery power that's powering the house. Now up here we see the inverter. This is the inverter fuse box, everything's turned on. What we're showing is uh, this whole shop you're looking at now. See the lights in here? Okay. The shop here is running off of the inverter also. And we can see all the fuses, all the breakers are turned on, including my barn out back. The hot wire fence is on. And I have a breaker here, a 40 amp breaker that runs to the house. Now I'm going to show you that in just a minute. So we're looking at... All right. This right here, this meter right here is showing the number of amps that we're pulling off the inverter, through the inverter. That's going through the inverter using the, the meter right here. We're measuring the number of amps coming through the inverter and it's at 28 right now at 24 volts. 24 volts, we're using 28 amps. This up here is showing the voltage of the batteries right now. The batteries are at 24.6. Okay, this meter right here is showing the number of amps right here, 5.7, the number of amps that are going into the battery bank from the solar panels. So we have 16 solar panels outside that are feeding into this. Okay, 16 solar panels are feeding into it. Today, this number will get up to around 60 amps, maybe 70 during the middle of the day. All right, so I'm going to take you outside. We're going to show you the rest of this. Now, keep in mind, that if I turn the lights out, we already have the house running off this. I've already configured it. Right now, the house is pulling just 16 amps. Um, that's using, uh, and a few minutes ago, it was running around 25, 26 amps. That's using the refrigerator, the freezer, several lights, a computer running, a seed starter, a uh, light kit, a seed starter, heater, multiple charging devices, and it's running between 16 and 25 amps right now, just to run the house. And as you can see, we're starting to put about 6 amps into the battery bank as the sun comes up. So again, let's walk outside and I'll show you the rest of this. Hold on a second. Okay. All right, right here. This is a breaker. This is a uh, plug that I ran. It's coming 
right off the inverter through that uh, breaker I showed you, the 40 amp breaker in the box coming from the inverter, the sub panel, I have a, uh, a plug and a cord. This is a um, number eight size wire, 220 wire, number eight, that's running out of, from the inverter sub panel box. And if we follow this wire, that's the two dogs, they're excited about this too. Now, we're gonna follow the wire. I wanna show you where this is going. Okay, we see that wire coming from the inverter, and here we go. All right, that wire from the inverter is running right here into another, another plug that goes into the main breaker box. Okay, so it's number eight wire, holds 30 to 50 amps, so I can run 50 amps through this wire right now. This wire is running into the main breaker box right here. See it turned on, generator, inverter, and the breaker's on. Now, as you can see, what I've done is the main breaker in the breaker box is turned off. I've turned this one right here off. So there's no AC power coming into the house today. All the power is coming through this breaker from the generator or the inverter right now. I can also run the generator through there if I want to. So, as you can see, all the breakers, the 110 breakers are turned on, but I left the 220 breakers off just because the uh, air conditioning system could pull a, quite a bit of power in the stove. So usually if there's an emergency backup, I would only run the 110 breakers, which is the basic house needs, off the generator or the, uh, or the inverter. Although the inverter could probably power the, the home air conditioning system, it would drain, drain the batteries quite a bit. So let me show you, this is here at the house. You saw the main breaker is off. You can see that right there, the main breaker is off. Now, I'm gonna show you if we come over here, we're gonna flip the light switch on here in the garage and we see the lights coming on. There's another light right there, here's a light. And if we go in the house, all the lights are on in the house also. So you can see Today we're running a test. We're gonna try to go through the day and run the, uh, run the whole house off of the inverter and battery bank today to run a test to verify that if we had an emergency, a power outage long term, that we could run all day and possibly all night around the clock off of the battery bank and the solar panels. Okay, we're resuming this from uh, out here in the pasture. I wanted to show you the 16 solar panels that are on the back of the shop here. All right, each one of the solar panels is putting out about 175 to 185 um, watts, but I'll be honest with you, the whole bank of solar panels is rated at 2,900 watts, but I'm only getting about uh, 16, 1,600 to 1,800 per day. That's the net result that I get off of them. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of pollen on them today, so they're not gonna be performing at, uh, at their normal capacity with the pollen. Okay, we're back in the shop again. Let's, uh, let's look at this again. We're seeing we're pulling about 18 amps right now, so that means the refrigerator and the freezer have cycled off. When they cycle on, we're pulling up around 25. The sun is now putting in about 7.5 amps of power into the battery bank. Now, I'm gonna just to show you this, if I turn the lights on, I'm gonna turn on all of my inside lights here. We can see the number of amps jumping up to 27. If you wanna see a larger load, I can turn on all of the outside halogen lights. That's putting quite a bit of load on this, and now we can see the number of amps going through the inverter jumping up to 58, 59. Okay, so you can see that the additional lights are pulling more amps off the inverter. Now, I'm going to turn that off. I turned off the light switches again. We're going back to normal. So, we want to try to... Uh... Alright. Now, just so you know, this inverter is very, very impressive. It's industrial strength, heavy duty. It weighs 84 pounds, okay? So, 
It's rated at uh, 6,000 watts, but it has surge capacity of, what is it, uh, 18, one, yeah, 18,000 watts. So, three times the, uh, the surge capacity in it. Rated at 6,000 watts, and it has surge of 18. 18,000. Again, I'm very impressed with the, uh, the Ames inverter. And again, you can see here the battery banks that we're, uh, we're using. 24 golf cart batteries here. Okay. So what we should see during the day, okay? If my normal usage, you know, with the freezer, refrigerator, and computers and lights during the day is only pulling, you know, 18 to 30 amps during the day, we should start to see um, the batteries charging up. See, it's at 24.7. We should start to see the batteries charging up with the excess solar energy that we'll be putting in during the middle of the day. So this number here should go right on up to uh, 50 to 60. Considering the pollen that's on it, it might be lower. Mm. All right. So I'll give you an update uh, later on this afternoon. Again, this is Preston Stroud, and we're showing you the, the new Ames Industrial Strength Inverter. It's very impressive. You can see it's running in invert mode right this minute. All right. Thank you.